let's go ahead and we will move on to our sit rep. Dun, 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 dun. If you have not uh, been here with us for one of our sit reps, it's where um, sit rep stands for situation report. It's just where you're giving an update uh, on the status of something. It's a, a military term, you know, that basically has become ubiqu- ubiquitous. Um, we haven't, and it's kind of a misnomer to call this a sit rep because we haven't really done, you know, dedicated, you know, content uh, or, or um, sorry, not content, um, concept vehicle status reports. But because we're getting an up, we're doing an update on every concept vehicle. We're just going to call it a situation report in regards to each one of them. Um, so, along with that, and I'm going to pull up the Reddit first, and then we'll pull up the image. So you have probably seen. Wait for it. This image right here before, and especially this, recently. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it gets um, the person who it doesn't does this have a whole on, on Reddit is called Lug, Ludwig Luton, uh, L U D W I G L O U T O N, and so I have them, I follow them, so that way I can see these updates. Um, and usually they update it about once a quarter, and so I just downloaded this newest one, um, and it's the. It has a list of all the ships, and the ones where you have a thumbnail icon are the unreleased ships. And no, there's the more charts. Like Don't this. worry, Blizzard. We have more charts. We have an endless supply of charts. <laughs> um, but all these ones are released. And so what we're going to do, uh, Nazareth and I have painstakingly gone through numerous sources um, from CIG in order to get you as much of a status update as possible on each one of these ships. Um, and we're doing this because there's been a big hubbub um, in the community about the backlog of concept vehicles um, within CIG, uh, particularly the fact that a goodly number of these are very large. Um, and uh, we're going to talk more about that when we get to the Spectrum Pulse this evening. But first, we're going to go ahead and go through each one of these vehicles. And some of them we've got lumped together um, just for the sake of brevity. Uh, but we'll provide a little bit of context as we go through there. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and close this. But if you are interested in keeping abreast of this you know, chart or finding it for yourself, Ludwig, L-U-D-W-I-G, Luton, L-O-U-T-O-N, on Reddit. That's where you will find this. So I will... Um, and the link to this, uh, to his... Reddit I wonder is going to be he, in the show notes. I wonder if he means that for this image to be salt ammo. Because it's a very well done image. It's a very well done chart. It is. Um, I wonder if he, if, he, if he means for this to be like, hey, CIG, look at the time. I don't know. <laughs> oh, look at the but, time. But it's very well done. Mm-hmm. Um, so and it's so the w- first like salty chart I've seen. The the big context for this is up here at the top, and it's drawn by the year when they were mentioned, not concept sale year, hull or configuration variants included. So um, some of these, you when we go through them, you're like, wait a minute, that wasn't you know concepted then. Um, most of them are pretty much in order with when they were concepted, but there's a few that are a little bit out of whack, like the MISC Expanse is the, the big one that I noted. I was like, wait a minute, that didn't... That wasn't from 2019, you know, it just came Peter out. Sam, you know. 2012. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but we're going to go through in, uh, if in order for If he didn't put the Idris be... M up there, 2012 would be at 100%. Yep. And, you know, in reality it is, but, you know, or at least close enough. We'll no, they said it wasn't completely done last time they talked on it, but it was. Good enough for government work. You know. <laughs> the, <laughs> yes. The, the production of the ship is done. They have to do resource management, you know, that's a thing, blah blah blah. You know, but the what you know like a lot of the Didn't sources they say that we're like go it was are things from month or Oh no the javelin the about, one <clears throat> they said the javelin wasn't completely interior complete. The, the, the javelin we, I couldn't find we, anything that says that the javelin is not interior complete. 
uh, what was it, the last, either this Invictus or last Invictus, they said there are still some rooms that they need to do. That would have been um, the previous one. And but if you go through, like if you go, you phone. can go back and watch the video where people were clipping through the walls. It's all there. The only thing is they had they had work to do on the function in some of the rooms, but otherwise mm-hmm. production wise, the ship is pretty much done. And like, okay. and the that's the the big thing is like people are like oh we don't know how far along it is and it's like well we know that you know pretty much it is you know as far as the as far as the players care about. Yeah, as far as like getting it into the hands of players and into the PU, the you know the the biggest the bulk of the work is the actual production of the ship, building it in engine and making it function, and that is you know like for things like the javelin you know ninety plus percent done probably ninety five percent you know or greater done, um. Yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So, <laughs> Nazareth and I are going through this list, and you can follow along. Um, if you have downloaded the image or you can just look at the one on the screen. Um, but we're going to start at the Idris M and we're going to go back and forth working our way down here. Um, and what we've done is I lumped the Idris M P K because the K is just a, um, a refit of hard points, essentially. Isn't, it's the, not a... isn't the P just it the teeth? Like literally just yeah. take off the guns? The P is the M demilitarized, um, and so it doesn't have the spine mount and the the rail uh, the spine mount and the uh, rail cannon on the nose of it, and then it also um, ha- it does not have the torpedo launcher, um, which the K gets back in the form of a missile launcher instead of a torpedo launcher, mm. um, and the K. If I remember correctly, the K and the P don't have the, I forget what size that nose turret is. There's a big turret on the nose of the Idris M, a big anti-ship turret. And I want to say it's dual size sevens. I want to say it's dual size sevens. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up again. It's, it's pretty the sizable. K on this list? The K is not because it's not an actual variant. It's just a, a it's like an upgrade kit. Um, mm. It really just upgrades your hard points, or in the case of the laser, adds the hard point back there. Um, mm. But so yeah, so yeah, the Idris M, um, and I'm gonna pull up the deliverable on the progress tracker. Yeah. Because something of note that's very important is the. Uh, deliverable on the progress tractor crafted by Idris Dynamics. The Idris is the standard frigate used by the United Ember of Earth Navy um, Squadron Forty Two. This is I'm assuming they're just talking about the Idris M in this, um, but this is and only know, as far as it goes for yeah. squadron needs. Yeah, and this is basically eight months of work by multiple artists from the Squadron Forty Two art team, but it starts. Back here at the end of February, beginning of March of 2021. Well, the progress tracker didn't start until January of 2021. We don't know at all how much work was going on in here back, you know, before the advent of the progress tracker. We just know that this, you know, basically picked up here. It could have had a break in the sprint and then picked it back up and continued on the way, all the way to here. But as far as the progress tracker, progress tracker goes has not received any other work on here and i went back through all the monthly reports squadron 42 and star said uh, the uh, squadron 42 monthly reports and i didn't find anything in the monthly reports suggesting that um additional work was being done to build the ship um no the interest end is almost definitely done. like yeah with January. chapter one being so far along and with mm-hmm. us hearing about this vertical slice thing constantly in the squadron month reports, the big centerpiece to all the of squadron episode one is that Idris. Yep. It needs to be 99, if not a hundred percent complete, probably 99. It probably will get yeah. some updates as we get to uh, gold in the next two well, years, for, which I'm for context, the more I hear. Yeah. What they have been doing the the only mentions in the last two years um, was narrative from January 2021, where they were working on game modes, um, 
uh, or from training and game modes within the target uh, the target range, the shooting range. That's what mm-hmm. they're working on. Yeah. And then um, in September of 2022, AI content um, added uh, the medical behavior, uh, added the new medical behaviors um, that were mentioned in the monthly reports um, to the Idris and the working in the Idris's med bay. And then level design uh, was um, doing um, shift assignments. So basically, um, where where on the Idris people were assigned based off of their you know um, their role Features. on the ship. Yeah. That's that's all that's been worked on with the Idris. That's the only mention in Squadron Forty Two. It's an yeah. announced ship. If they were still building it, it would they'd be talking about it. It's well for all intents and purposes the Idris M, and by extension the majority the overwhelming majority of the P and the K, are done. Yes. So uh, to the credit of our chart, it says unreleased, not concept ships. So to his yeah. credit. Mm-hmm. Um, but the more I hear about Squadron, the more I feel it's we're finally actually in the two years. If we don't see like I think the the big thing next year is kicking off the the marketing for squadron mm-hmm. i really think that's gonna happen if it doesn't i'm just being optimistic i am notoriously optimistic i got server meshing wrong by a year so everything so is a great result that's assuming it comes out ha- uh uh q2 next year i'll be mm-hmm. off by a year um, so don't take anything I say as gospel ever. Um, but yes, Idris will come out. I think on one hand, it'd be smart for them to just bulk release every squadron ship. On the other hand, the, maybe an update or two later, a quarter or two later after people have had a uh, chance to play the game. Um, and to the the Idris has blown me up. That's a husk that blew you up. That looks like an Idris. It's not an Idris. Um, for this, for our chart, and for sake of conversation, it's um, playable ships is what we're talking about. The players yep. being able to drive it, to go through the corridors, to you know, use the ship, not clip through it and be able to pilot it with AI turrets because it's a husk. It's not an Idris. Yeah. I, I like own an Idris. an Idris P with a K upgrade. So when I'm able to pull it from the hangar and fly it out and fly it out into space and shoot Blizzrad with my laser, that is when it will count. Yep. Blizzard Moving on to everyone's yeah. favorite punching bag. At least it's my Oof. favorite punching bag. Oof. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, as we're going through these things, if we read something or we mention something like I talked about things in the monthly reports, um, you know, I, I showed you the link to the deliverable for the Idris. All of these links, uh, as well as a whole bunch of images and stuff, you know, things in, you know, um, time-stamped things for YouTube videos where we found them talking about this, you know, in, in recent history. Everything is in our show notes. So if yes. you're watching this video later and you're like, okay, where did they find this information? The show notes are in the description. You can open up. It'll be a Google Doc. Google Doc. You can open it up. And you can go to that time-stamped YouTube video. You can go to that source that we're That's referring ridiculous. back to. That's <laughs> ridiculous. can do too. Um, here's the thought that you might want to do. Uh, make a channel on Discord to where you archive all the show notes. That's a brilliant idea. So it, coming to a Discord near you. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're um, going to add that to the backlog of things for Tree <laughs> to do. <laughs> nice. Okay, so everyone's favorite punching bag, the Merchant Man. I almost screwed that up, and I'll just use it as the Music Man thing from Pet Man Pat. Anyway, so in a recent, I forget what the title of the thing was called. It was called uh, Star Session Live IAE 2952 Ship Talk, or Super Talk. There we go. Uh, 11 days ago, as of recording or live streaming this podcast, um, it was a roundtable with basically every a representation of everyone who touches a ship ever yeah the the very ship teams ship related teams concept art 
uh, vehicle all the way through features. release. Yeah. yeah. So, um, John Crew, uh, vehicle director, took this one. Um, and what he said is they are at an inflection point. Do they get together the team that needs to finish the Merchantman? Now that's most of the way. They know what they're doing. They just need to get all the talent together and dedicate them for six months to a year. Or do they take that same amount of people and work on five ships? Or something else. He said something else. Something more relevant to the gameplay. That is where they're at. That is all he said. He didn't say whether they're doing one or the other. But they are at that point where they need to decide. Because the website did change the definition on their site to in production to um, in concept. Maybe it was a bug. But it seems like they did move towards shelving it and coming back to it and working on something else currently we don't know nothing's been actually said but they last we actually have official news is they needed to make the decision whether to get the team together to actually finish the ship or to shelve it and wait for a better time for the merchantman to come in maybe you know when we have actual banu in the game i'm just done hearing about the banu i want to blow up some banu merchantments just because i'm so tired of hearing it i'm so tired of people who just love the ship so much i just want it to end <laughs> I want it to end so that's where we're at with the merchantman um now now tell me tell me where my whole c is tree i've got you i'm just adding one more thing that i forgot to put in there okay there we go all right so we are with the whole c let me slide that b c d over. and e <laughs> yeah so we i again i this is one of the ones where I lumped it in um, mm-hmm. because, uh, and we're going to talk about this because it was mentioned in the pipeline. We'll talk about this in the Spectrum Pulse. But what CIG has said multiple times is that after the, you know, at the more ships they build from a manufacturer, especially the more ships that are visually similar, that share a lot of the same style guide, they're able to reuse those, you know, reuse assets. And the more assets they have, the quicker they can build a ship. They've said it Did multiple you times. If they put the yeah. the Banu team on on the Kraken, mm-hmm. um, especially the Kraken Privateer. That we just oh have the Kraken one first. <laughs> it would be a disaster. Oh, disaster. do it! I want to see the firestorm that ensues. Yeah. Um, oh my. But so the reason I included um whole b c d and e so we've got the whole c back here in 2013 first mentioned or whatever it is then there's whole b d and here and e in 2015 wait where's the a mentioned the a is released oh right this uh, is only the... well no it should show up yeah. in the the, the thing it's one Where of these small ones but i can't read those it is you 2015 can... okay yeah so along with b c d and e yeah so um the in the september month report um, the whole C polish pass, it says the whole C polish pass was concluded with all major bugs and improvements completed. So, and then in that same, um, sources in live, we just had the other week, the all vehicle, whatever it's called. Um, they, he said that there's essentially nothing major, um, left with the whole C it, they're with tech art. And there's just a few things that they have to do with tech art as far as with the functional aspects of the whole C um, in order to make sure that it oper- you know, it works essentially so that when it expands and contracts um, both the tube and then the arms, that they all work correctly and it all it looks good while it's doing it. Um, and so once the tech art gets that done, they'll do a, a little bit of additional final art with just mostly lighting to make sure that it didn't mess anything up with uh, tech art doing that. The thing that's holding back the whole C is the econ- is the, the state of the economy. So I'm going to read this word for word from um, that, uh, that star season live with the whole C it's a big external kind of uh, it's big external kind of thing is the economy. Yeah. And basically it's like, you can't just dump it out there and then, you know, without all this other work being done for the economy uh, being done with the cargo factor and all this stuff that has to feed into it. So I know there are a lot of conversations going on right now to make sure that, you know, when it, uh, when it need, uh, when it does drop, it doesn't just destroy the economy. So a lot of people, myself included, 
were thinking, hoping that we would be getting more with the quantum economy as part of 318. I don't think that's going to happen now. We know that, but that being said, we know that Tony Z was pushing really hard to get something into I don't know. Like the way that reads to me is the Carter factor and everything attached to it. Including that's the how it reads to me. Yeah. He says it, yeah, m- multiple times. So the, but this so, is the, like the way the, that reads, uh, since the Carter factor is in 18, that's how it reads to me is the economy that he's talking about is in 18. I mean, the, that's the thing. He could be being cagey about it, and mm-hmm. it could be something that isn't on the release view, and they won't tell us until it releases and it drops. Mm-hmm. Um, but the fact that it hasn't been mentioned in Evo, I'm like, eh, we'll see. Oh, that's true. Um, it's been in Evo for like three months, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, but if it doesn't make it into 318, that's probably something that'll make it into 319. And if Blizzard? the... If you try and put a, if you try and play a whole C right now in the game, you log off. You alt F4, you don't play the, There's not enough commodities that you can even move station to station right now. Yeah. I think you have I don't know where you'd get hydrogen at. And then you have scrap, but I don't know where you get rid of scrap. Like you have like those two is like the only volumes you can do. Yeah, and if that's, you try and do medical supplies or to... food or metals, anything else, you can't do it in volume. Well, and that's if they want to fake the loading and unloading of the whole C, because the the whole C doesn't load in a hangar. It it there's it it can't. So we don't, and they haven't even told us what their plan is for loading whole C, D, and E parked out in space next to some cargo uh, next to a cargo deck. You know, the exterior overlay of the cargo deck. Um, so we, we don't know if they're going to hold on to it just until the quantum economy is in and there's actual cargo jobs. The, with the way that they are talking about, um, hauling missions and their plans for those, I could see the whole C sitting for a while until those are in, but Again, this is one of the th- one of those things, and I'm I'm ready. It's nebulous. Yes, I am out of water. That's a little bit gosh. And I'm going to I, I I'm going to be bringing it up to see if we can get it addressed by Jared and the team, so that way we can get some information about what the plan is. Because whatever yes. it is, it can't be that far off. And they so we'll see. You know, fun note: they've... the cargo refactor is not committed yet. So, which means it's not fully implemented even into Evo. So, there's a chance. I'm sorry, I'm holding out hope. It's the one thing I want. Like, after the whole C's out, I mean, I have the the Odyssey and the the Polaris to go. But it's, it's like my first big ship that I've been looking forward to. So... I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope. All right, Ooh, Sean. I don't. Have... I don't know when your what, what source you're referring to because I don't remember them ever saying they weren't going to uh, you know, add anything to the economy until persistent hangers and freight elevators are in. Um, I we need persistent. We need freight elevators, and we need freight elevators come before persistent hangers. Um, you can have, yes. there are freight elevators that are not in persistent hangers. You, they're all over the place. Um, they said they aren't reworked. And we, the, the economy yeah. is not getting reworked. It is getting upgraded. Yeah. The economy we have will be the economy we have in, you know, 319 yeah. beta version Because there are aspects one, of quantum 10. that are already implemented. Yeah. But it isn't com- the, the commodities. The commodity, the commodity, the, the dynamic aspect of commodities and what you know what quantum does is not implemented quantum yes. is implemented for the refineries so like refinery queues timers all that um pricing for repair refuel rearm and the next thing that was supposed to be coming is the commodities um and so we're just waiting for a status update on that and everybody was hoping that the 
the mention from uh, of Tony Z at Citizen Con was referring to it, and I just I don't think it made it. I think it's going to be a three nineteen thing. But yeah, um, branding's about there, yes. So just like with everything else, the whole C, and we have the whole C, we have the whole A. The whole C is essentially done. It is you know for all intents and purposes done. It is not waiting to be built. There's nothing left to be built. There's a little bit of spit and polish on it to be done, but that's it. The whole A is in game and working. Um, so to make the whole B and D and E will not take long. Those are not ships that are going to take a significant amount of effort whatsoever. Let's see. Uh, Sean's saying they said if they updated the economy now, then they would have to do it again later when timers, etc., are implemented. Not necessarily freight elevators, but those will be needed to load your own cargo. Yeah, the freight that elevators are um, for not only That's loading the your own cargo, but you can have freight elevators without persistent hangers. We'll get we will get freight elevators before we get our own persistent hangers. Yes, um, which is reflected on the progress tracker. Yeah, um, um, persistent hangers is not just for the economy stuff though. That will also be for storing your own um, supplies. Those sorts of things, but yeah, they um, system refactor commodity kiosk is the timers that's been done. Yeah, the well, since the August, the commodity kiosk is coming in, but the what they couldn't get in was the um, all the uh, all the timer stuff associated with it. So you know, and, and I, that's another thing that I think will come in three nineteen because they were trying to get it in for three eighteen, um, Jake. Uh, mentioned, you know, they, they showed those commodity kiosks back mm-hmm. when they were, you know, prototyping them. And Jake said back then that that was what they were working on for 318 with the cargo factor, and it just didn't make it. Um, so okay. I think that's going to be coming in 319. You know, so and the timer will be, um, the timer, the timer doesn't mean, the timer doesn't mean that the cargo will be physically moved. The timer just means that over that time is when things will start to pop in and out. Um, yeah they don't want to but we know we can physically move cargo (laughs) yeah so what sounds like to me is that because of the scheduling errors not errors but the scheduling hiccups that happened um the cargo the cargo update (laughs) the economy slash cargo update that was planned got severed it didn't materialize in its final form right so it's gonna kind of come in part one and two yeah that's part the other part of the other reason I think we'll see a three nineteen. That, make, that makes three nineteen again pretty big. These these yeah. this year of updates is going to be like this next six four updates. The next four updates is going to be really chunky. Mm-hmm. All right, because we Let's got keep moving because we've got a lot PS. of ships we got to cover. And then we got cargo, and then we got hopefully something, and then uh, right. server meshing. All right. Yeah, last ship's go. Where are we at? We are They're going at... to force people to pay and wait by first implementing timers without allowing people the ability to land, uh, to load their own cargo and save that cost. I don't yes. know. I, I, I don't know if they're going to implement it and make you pay at first or how that's going to work. Um, you know, the, I, I don't think that we will. So with the. For, they've already, you know, they've already done pay, it. Well, yeah, but with the forcing you to pay, I don't think that would come without updating the economy. So that way, if you pay and it eats too much of your profits because you bought stuff too expensive and are taking it someplace where it isn't really in that too much demand, that's on you. Um, uh, but I, Expedited shipping costs is a way they've already done it. And you can't just hire someone to go drive it to you faster. You just pay because they don't have the system to actually move the ship yet. Oops. So they've already showed that they're wait, willing to gamify uh, mechanics that aren't done yet. Yeah. So it is super possible that oh, they man, give you a it. load timer without uh, being able to load it manually. Here's the work but for the But we have whole manual loading on the progress already right shown. Now. Lots and so lots what, of work has been done on the whole C over the years. Yes. And and way more than even, up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's just what they've shown us because they've had to come back to it and do a whole bunch of things. Like, it looks a lot different and it looks so much better 
than when it first did when they showed it to us the in whole, engine, like in 2017. That's was really short. Yep. Yes, yeah. Gib, indeed. They've done a little bit of concept artwork, apparently, on the whole D and the... Yes, they were all biggered. E. <laughs> um, we don't know what that entailed, but it's on there. Yeah, that was. Uh, they mentioned it like briefly, like what they were doing. They were just like showing up metrics. Um, so if oh, we go back to the sense. big, yeah. Um, if we go back to the big, uh, image that we have, yeah. Uh, so everything post two thousand seventeen has been when they when we get to see the concept, the interior layout, all the metrics, everything in the concept has been already shored up. Everything previous to that needs to be reconcepted in some way. So the whole BDEC, Retaliator, Polaris, Dever, Crucible, Genesis, you've heard of all these, Ben and Merchantman, you've heard of all these needing their concepts uh, reworked. Everything post that has already been done to the current standard in concept. And we'll talk um, about that more when we get to the Spectrum Pulse on the ship pipeline. Right. So yeah. that's as much as I'll say on that. But basically, everything post 2017, they don't need to go back and reconcept everything pre, which is almost basically done anyway, um, needs to be reconcepted. So moving on to one of the last things in the pre-2017 era, the RSI Orion. There is like no data in this one because it was done and then it was on the roadmap, but it was only on the roadmap for reconcepting. And after they did that, it got twice as big, got uh, a lot more cargo, and then they were done with it, and so it left. <laughs> so it's currently concept complete again, and it's just waiting for resources. That is where the Orion is. Um, it's really not a priority because they don't have end game of any loop yet. They don't have end game cargo, they don't have end game bounty hunting, and they certainly don't have end game mining. So until they start to work on that, the Orion will sit on its shelf. then you have another juicy one, it looks like. Yeah, the Anvil Crucible. So Anvil Crucible is right... Where is it? Right here. 2014. Oh, what um, we reconcept it. One of... Yeah. Uh, Sean, Captain Sean, yeah. So much work needed before the Orion makes sense. For... <laughs> sure. Cargo, economy, crew... Refining. Refining. Gosh, yep. man. Ooh, refining on ships. Yeah, the Expanse will be in before the Orion. Yeah, they'll do Expanse and uh, Galaxy and whatever other refineries. But uh, the Crucible. So um, the before we get into um, how it was on the progress tracker and then removed, there is, um, let's see, this was the... Movable Asteroids. Yeah, it's another big one. Um, right here. Movable Asteroids. Um, it was right the there. Star Citizen Live all vehicle Q and A in August of 2022, and it's the timestamp. It's right at one hour 34 seconds, or sorry, one something like that. Um, and the quote, uh, I think it's from John Crew or the guy or the guy in the top left. I forget what his name is. Um, basically, said the Crucible uh, absolutely will get a concept rework from scratch. I saw a question go flying up chat about the crucible that absolutely will get a concept rework like from scratch. Um, it will still look like your favorite flying space crab, uh, but it yeah. it will have some changes to account for all the changes that have happened with the game and the mechanics since then. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Um, it will still have the overall shape language but it is probably going to change an awful lot. Uh, if you are a member of the Cult of the Crucible, do not be surprised. Um, so let's close that one. Uh, the Crucible was added to the progress tracker back in, let's see, it was June, beginning of June uh, of this year. And then it was removed. Um, initially, it was supposed to be um, going into production. So um, it was added to the vehicle content team, you know, the actual team that makes the ship. It was added to their schedule. Um, and so they had 
but it was actually it when you pulled it up on the progress tracker and you can't do it now because it's gone but it had vehicle content and vehicle concept art so it was scheduled to get its concept rework and then go into production with this with these teams and then the production schedule was removed and um, you know shortly thereafter and I don't have the dates for it because I couldn't find them because I but I just remember seeing it and saying oh okay well at least it'll get its concept rework maybe we'll see a the work of it just like the 600i. Nope. Then the concept art sprint was removed um, on, let's see, it was the um, November 9th. I've got it on the Delta report. Yeah, the November 9th um, <laughs> Delta report. So November 9th, um, it, uh, Roadmap Roundup is when it was removed entirely from the progress tracker. So we don't know when it will become a priority again. I imagine we won't see anything about it until we hear more about repair or they get started on stuff with the repair, but it is apparently um, not a priority right now. Yeah, I think as soon as we'll see that as end of next year. Oh, I, I would say even later. <laughs> It it, uh, will, it will take a while to build that one after you know. Well, no, after the, all, second, the repair tier the next. Oh yeah, I see the next yep. bit on repair. Uh, back to you, Nazarisk, for uh, John Cruz's favorite ship. Oh, so you've heard the Misk Endeavor. <laughs> so in the Star System Live IAE twenty nine fifty one all ships Q and A. He was asked, why is do you hate this ship? Uh, um, so this time last year. Yes, this time last year. Basically, he just hates it because he sees the amount of work that it's going to need, and it's ridiculous to him. Um, he likes flashy ships. He doesn't like workhorses. Um, so, like, Kraken and the, the Rylan and like, flashy ships. Big, bombastic, or flashy ships. He, he's not really fond of the mundane, which each to their own. It's fine. Uh, but he also sees the incredible work. So he doesn't really have a passion for it. And he sees the work ends up in this being the ship he groans at every time somebody mentions. But he did give us a couple of nuggets that we need to, we can go over. Um, one, he said that definitely will not come in before modularity. Obviously, it is based on modularity. And modularity... They've said they're not going to work on because they'd have to rework it until the resource manager system comes in. So I would call it a prerequisite. Tree ha tree wouldn't call it a prerequisite, but I modularity needs the resource manager. Yeah, I well it's the I don't think it's a prerequisite in that they're already working on resource management. And so with the resource man you know, depending on where long resource management they are. Mm -hmm. I can see them working on modularity at a certain point. So it's like a co I think modularity has already been like, mostly worked on. Yeah. Like it's the, well, you know, for the retaliator. Mm -hmm. um, but for, uh, it's the, um, what's the best way to put it? We what don't have to wait for all the work on resource management to be done before they can start working on modularity. Yeah. 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 So I, it needs so, to be at a certain point where they can say, okay. I think you you're know, looking these... at it from like the current perspective. I'm looking at it as the this task needs this task. Even though we're in the middle of task B, um, I'm looking at it as if it, nothing has been done yet. Uh, so you guys might have caught wind of this. I put this in here because I think I messed up sometime previously. Um uh, Paul Jones, right? Paul Jones um, found apparently one of his dream jobs to go work at Ubisoft as um, Arch something or rather. I forgot what he moved to. I'm so sorry. Oh, the um, title. Yeah. Uh, but also, I had read a tweet from John Crew around the same time, um, and the tweet was as follows. After eight years and a bit, or after eight and a bit years today, I've is my final day in the old office for Seiji. It's been a journey from day one where we had half the ground floor to overgrow all four floors. Looking forward to the new big office in Manchester. 
I may have lobbed off that last sentence. And he replied to his own tweet. This is a tweet. This tweet is an exercise in reading the whole thing. For some reason, I thought that John Crew was leaving, even though I was really excited for that to happen, because I like. It's nothing against him. Basically, I want some other opinion at his position as well. Not that I have anything to base this on, but I wanted some not the ship pipeline to not be biased by one person's likes and that was all um so where is the misc endeavor at this point oh wait there's one more thing there's no top end gameplay there's no farming there's no endeavor class farming so there's no like industrial farming there's no industrial medical there's no um overclocking for weapons so that's like repair top end there's no deep space scanning. There's no science at all, much less the top end. So all that together, the Endeavor is nowhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it hasn't even gone through its reconcepting. Um, so when anything like that comes back in, it'll get reconcepted, I'm sure. Until that, like, the Endeavor was and always will be that, like, end game of end game ships. And I fully believe that when it actually gets in or when it starts its track back through the pipeline from the start it will be a much bigger much prettier ship not that there's anything wrong with the aesthetics of it i i do like the aesthetics that they got especially that cab which actually a lot of the pieces made it into the odyssey oh yeah so well you can totally tell that the um the endeavor mm -hmm. and its development will be um, not only is it going to an endeavor be waiting on it for a while, <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be it'll be an endeavor, but I don't think it'll be anywhere close to what people think it will be. Simply because by the time they start working on that, the Odyssey will have been done. Basically, the entire whole series will be done. You know, all the other Misk ships are going to be done. They're going to have so many assets that they'll be able to you know piecemeal that together. You know, they're, they're the the only aspects of the endeavor that will be bespoke will be the modules. Everything else is going to be, you know, pretty much, you know, unless we get a modular ships. misc ship, and still the materials are swappable over, the rebels yeah. are swappable, um, the like unique stuff starts when you start after market models, which yeah. they should definitely have on the endeavor. It's a big uh, modular platform, um, like it, it's it's end game for like the development of Star Citizen as well. Uh, when they can make the endeavor, they've gotten to a really good place. So, not like it's also got a detachable cab, which we also have the caterpillar that's been in game doesn't have a detachable cab. So, mm -hmm. it's an end game for Star Citizen as well. So that is where that is where the Misk Endeavor and I I have. So you best believe I am waiting for this with bated breath. So that is where that is. I look forward to seeing it. And the longer I. I think it was in also that the the 2051 2051, 2951 uh, Q&A ship Q&A where they said the longer something takes to come out, the better the ship will be. So the Carrick now looks like a paperweight compared to uh, stuff that's come after it, especially stuff like the Cutter or the Corsair, because the functionality, the quality of the ship that co are coming out is so much higher and they're already ready to just turn on when they get stuff like resource management, fuses, uh, removable uh, components. Uh, with the Herc, we had the storage bays that actually open up now. So it, the later it gets done, the more full-featured it will be, and the less they'll have to go back and rework everything. So, silver linings. And that brings us back to you with... Um, Da, 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 da. Jared's favorite ship? Yep. Yes. The Crusader okay, right. Genesis Starliner. Um, so it, the Genesis <laughs> yeah, um, was initially on the roadmap for a short period. I couldn't find when it got popped on, um, mm -hmm. but I was able to find where it got taken off, and it was in June 2022 wow. when they pulled the Orion. Um, it, it, when they... So, yeah, I'll just... Uh, when everything but, went squadron. <laughs> well, and it, it was, you know, shifting priorities. So, 
So due to a shift in priority for the vehicle concept art team, both to await specific systems coming online as well as additional resources needing on other upcoming vehicles, the following deliverables have been temporarily removed from the progress tracker until additional resources are allocated. So vehicle concept art. So they were planning on reconcepting all of these ships and they got started and then they had to pull off of it. Let's see. Uh, no, go away. Turn off. Um, so the, you can see the sprints. They got started in reconcepting these things, but there's more work to be done. Um, and one of those ships that they were reconcepting was the Crusader Genesis Starliner. And everybody was getting all excited. They're like, oh, it's on the progress mm. checker. It's going into production. You have to click on the deliverable on the progress checker and see what teams are assigned to it to know what its status was. All of these were only going, were only getting concept artwork. They weren't going into production. There was no sprints from the vehicle content teams. We won't see these until the higher tier gameplay associated with them, other than the whole B maybe, um, becomes a thing. So the Crusader Genesis Starliner is a big old passenger liner, or passenger jet. We're not going to see that until we have another civilized system for people to fly from, you know, from Stanton. That's my, my guess. My, but I'm betting on it. Um, yeah, the the E1 axis is definitely what you're going to be seeing flying people mostly, uh, along with a few other ships, you know, like the steel and stuff. But you're you're cool. you're not going to see large scale passenger transport across a system the size of Stanton. Is too small. Um, yeah, Stanton will will have buses like. Yeah. So imagine like take the the scale we have we live at today. And scale that scale a like the entire planet up to the entire map of Star Citizen. Countries, or in the U.S. case, states are more like planets. The are the the systems. So states or countries are more like systems. I Each was going to say systems is more are like, a like city. countries. So like you're if you're flying to another yeah. country, it's like flying to another system. And it, depending on the size of the system, that's kind of like going from state to state. Whereas in Stanton, it would be if you're flying from one landing zone in Stanton to another, it would be like it's flying from, you know, a, yeah, a, a very short trip um, versus yeah, if you're be, in a much it, larger system, you know, that would be like going, you know, flying from San Francisco to Seattle. You know, it's not super mm -hmm. long, but, you know, it is a, you are going to fly, you know, but you, you don't see the great big, huge passenger jets making the, the short little puddle, you know, puddle hopper, puddle yeah. jumper flights. There's your new marriage start with E one. That's a great pl uh, flight plan. If the, if there is need for it, that's a great flight plan. That's actually a really good one. Keep that in mind. What is a star pup? What? I have no idea what star pup is. Uh, Texas said the E one will be the beginner star pup. Uh, no idea what pup I don't is. know what a spark pup is. I want one if it's a puppy. <laughs> the star. No, we have star kitten, star puppy. Are you kidding? Let's do this. Yes. CIG, make yeah. it happen. Let them fight. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's it. There's not a whole lot on the Genesis Starliner. I couldn't find anything else. You know, nope. uh, at least not anything recent. Um, yes, Kim Star Puppy. Yes. Yeah. Um, um, back to you for the Javelin. Big sticky throat, people. Um, before I move on to like when the Javelin, not Javelin, when the Genesis came out, the concept, I was one of the guys who went into like Photoshop and cut up their, um, their floor plans for them and rearranged them because they said it was super modular. So we should just be able to move crap around how we want it and Lego brick our own Genesis Starliner. So yes, it also requires modularity. So they, um, I am super excited for the Genesis. Like all of my like high excitement ships are still not existing because I like big ships and I cannot lie. Anyway, the Javelin, I almost call it the Javelin Starliner. No, the Aegis Javelin Destroyer. That's right. The Javelin Destroyer. All right. Where is the Javelin? Well, we, we I think we said it at the top of the show. It's basically it's done. It's just um, not in our hands because squadrons a thing and they like to they want to give us the shock and awe as i've mentioned i think on the previous two episodes of um 
this podcast. All right, so we have two mentions of it in monthly reports. Um, one from AI vehicles, which, again, it's AI, which means they basically have the ship done, and now they're teaching AI to use it and do things with it. Um, it was said this includes the new behavior that consists of vandal ships attacking the javelin turret by picking uh, stunt splines placed by designers, so teaching AI to blow it up. And then, again, uh, in August 20, 2022, so just a few months ago, uh, the Cinemax team, again, a team that would need it to be somewhere completed, uh, the Vandal movement, si- movement style was finalized, and prior blockouts received more fluid motion and precise timing. Adjustments were made to a few scenes on the Javelin Bridge. So the Javelin Bridge is definitely complete if they're making adjustments to scenes, uh, which was recently... Uh, lengthened for FPS combat. Like the entire bridge was lengthened? Or the scenes were lengthened? I think the bridge was lengthened. Uh, yeah, for the work that, that into the timing of large too. weapons. Yeah. I think they lengthened the bridge. So if you go back and watch the uh, U- the big guns of the UEE, note, oh. the ja- oh. note that the Javelin Bridge is longer now. Okay. I mean, I from what I know, from what they've officially shown, um, there is a point where you have to defend a bridge. So with the door here, it's not a lot of defense. It's just stop them at the door. But there's going to be, if you have like area to fight in, I think that makes a lot more sense to just have it a bit bigger of a bridge. Um, so cool. A little bit bigger of a bridge um, probably will be something necessary for the story. Um, yeah, one reason. Yeah. Um, and then we have a, oops, open that twice. Javelin Destroyer on the progress tracker. This was 2021 Q1. There was a bit of audio. And if you've followed the progress tracker ever at all, and like actually read it, or followed us here at the podcast, uh, Pathfinders, you'll know audio is one of the last people to touch a sh- So back in 2021 Q1, January through March, audio and the vehicle content teams had some work. So audio got done and some more content was done. So is that now every polygon is placed? Not necessarily. Also, <laughs> it is note, squadron complete for sure. This is this is Q1 2021 with work picking up in the middle of January. The progress tracker, the progress tracker started in Q1 of 2021. There is no progress tracker prior to Q1 of 2021. So this work probably was ongoing way, you know, well back behind this. And we, um, we've we seen this ship for years. Yeah, this was the work leading up to the tour at Invictus. We'll Energy get to the first case, don't worry. In 2021. So this, you know, this is, there was most likely a much longer sprint oh, yes. way back into here. Um, and this is just the tail end of it. Basically getting it um, visually... The yeah, problem is it needs targets. We'll get to that. We'll get to that one too. Um, mm-hmm. The Javelin is very much, <clears throat> and the Javelin and Idris have been tied together because they're both Aegis ships, because they're both squadron ships, because they're both unreleased ships that got way, I was almost, well, you could say way too much work without being released, but a lot of work went into both the Idris and the Javelin and the Bangle and <clears throat> um, so there's been a lot of ships done that one you don't know about and are really big so i really hope i really 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 hope that a lot of that brunt of cig that has been working on these giant ships moves to star citizen after we get the the gold sta- the gold squadron gold there we go because when a game goes gold for development people that means basically the last thing you had to do was the day one pack and you're done yep um so the gold is what they send to publishers to get the disc printed. Yeah. Uh, and then you work on the day one patch to fix anything that you couldn't get in before that. So that is where the Javelin is. It is right along in there. It should be done and released at the earliest, whenever they want to release the Idris. Should it come out at the same time? Waiting on Squadron to come out. It is one of those kind of like, they really want you to experience it in Squadron first. So hopefully... 
I, I'm actually hoping for Squadron plus six months to be the release of the Idris and Javelin. I don't really care for the Javelin. It's a, it, I want something civilian focused at that size. I don't care for the Javelin. Um, I also not really keen on the white oppressive jav, uh, Aegis look. So, anyway. Um, now for one of the ships that I thought was another ship um, for the longest time, uh, the Lynx Rover. What's going on with the Lynx? So, whoops, minimize the wrong thing. Uh, so the in the same um, uh, Invicta, the IAE um, uh, SCL, all vehicle Q&A thing that we've been harking back to, they talked about all the ships that are in production right now, what's being worked on. One of those things is the Lynx finally going into production. Um, they talked about how um, basically... I'd like to explain what the Lynx is for people who don't know about it. The Lynx is the luxury variant of the Ursa rover. And basically they said that the front, the, the cab portion, sorry, like the, the, the driver section is going to be updated a little bit, but the rear entry is going to be, the rear is going to be a lot different. It's going to a lot, you know, it's going to have the same sort of shape, but otherwise be very similar from a distance. Um, but it, it's the Ursa rover that comes with the Connie Phoenix. And it's actually in production right now. It got a, its vehicle concept art pass back in the summer. It's in um, White Box right now. And you can, uh, the link to the timestamp is in the show notes. And then, as well as the link to the deliverable Didn't here. Didn't it also that you're come with screen. the Carrick? Nope. Carrick has always been an Ursa rover. Is it really? Yep. They, they they misspoke about an anvil rover. They have confirmed that that was a misspoke a misspeak. Um, it, but it's always been a Ursa rover. I don't know anything about a tech blocker on the Lynx because it's just the Ursa. It's just a yeah. It, this it's is something just a pallet swap. Yeah. This is well. It's a little bit more than that. But you know, it's not all. A well, ton you, of they, work. Yeah. It wasn't okay. That was that was yeah. the wrong word. It, it is geometry swap. There we go. Just a geometry yeah. swap. Yeah. It's going to have. He did leather seats, you know, whatever. Um, so we'll probably, I, I, you can see how the sprint goes to right here. This is vehicle content. It's an upstream team. I imagine we will see the downstream work added, you know, in, you know, at the beginning in, in January and going into this month. And I imagine the Lynx is probably something that's going to be a 319 release. But uh, yeah, so um, Lynx is finally in production. Sweet. We're going to be Oot. able to cross. The links off, hooray! Yeah, that's that's a very small victory. Mm -hmm. um, back to you for the retaliator base, which is also a small victory because it's really one of those things that like shouldn't even be a concern. <laughs> so, retaliator base. What is the base for those who haven't heard of the base? It's not the base model; it's the empty model. <laughs> so, it is the model that actually. Gave Aegis its redemption in the lore. Uh, so the thing that, the reason it is a thing is because it is the first ship getting modularity. So you'll have this ship when modularity gets in. When is modularity coming in? After the resource management, as we've talked about several times Soon already. TM. Soon TM, yes. Resource um, management so it was... and the work on the item port um, and ship object container streaming system. Yes. Uh, where did it go? Ba -da -bum -ba -dum -bum. So that is in. Move past the founder view. So that's being put on. So we put onto the uh, progress tracker in June eighth, twenty twenty two. Um, and is it still there? I need to open nope. another tab. It is not there. So we did not find where we. Uh... It's not there at all. Okay. Sweet. Okay, so somewhere it disappeared. It was removed. It was removed. Um, the shiny target. 914. Wait. Nope. Uh, oh, yeah. So it was... That's the, the weird thing, is they didn't mention that it was removed in the roadmap roundup, but that's when it came off the progress tracker. Interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> and I couldn't find it anymore on the progress tracker. It's not there. But they Along didn't mention the, it in the roadmap roundup, even though they pulled the Apollo and the Ranger at the same time. My Ranger. Um, yeah, very. I, 
Mm, very weird. Um, so we don't have a reference in here for them saying that Squadron had modularity working, but we do have the references in there for them saying that it's um, in the progress track. It needs the resource. So here. Okay. Um, OC. Uh, no. Retaliator. So Retaliator Gold Standard and Retaliator Room OC Swapping. System support enabling players to swap vehicle rooms and modules via VMA and allows designers to specify vehicle setup at runtime in Squadron 42. So they, John Crew talked about this. So basically when the game designers say that the, this retaliator is right here as part of this level doing whatever, it's this retaliator with this module in it. And so when it spawns in, it spawns how they want it to. But they can't. You can't be flying a retaliator in Squadron Forty Two, land it on the Bengal and swap out a module or some shit. Um, it's just for designers to be able to use, uh, so they can they can load in a, a, a retaliator with the right module in Squadron Forty Two. Um, uh, the gold the standard basics was of the system done. For, quotations back in Q two twenty twenty one, and this is when they updated it they gave it a little stretch here and there to accommodate the uh, components and make room for ai to walk around but they did the gold standard to accommodate the um the modules and they can't do they can't add this to the pu because of this and so until this part is ready for the the pu they can't add this that's it's it's its own it's its own blocker. It's stripping over itself. <laughs> nice. Yeah. But yeah, so once we get modularity, then they'll add in the retaliator base. Cause I'm sure that's, you know, just a little bit of extra work on top of the gold standard work. Yeah, and and when that comes in, it's going to open the floodgates because we have the retaliator base, we have the Endeavor, the now the Galaxy, the Caterpillar, there's no one I'm thinking of. What other ship do we have? All the big ships, basically. The Bengal, the Javelin have been said to have some form of modularity. The Galaxy, not Galaxy, what is the other one? Carrick. Carrick. Carrick has modularity? Yeah. The cargo things are modular. Oh, okay. I guess that counts. Yeah. Um, also, the Starliner is said to be highly modular. Um... As well the only as ones that have had modules that were sold were the Endeavor and the Retaliator, though, and now and the, the Galaxy. Galaxy. Yeah. Yes. Everything um, else is just concepted at as having been modular, but no one ever. Yeah. Sold when the when we when I imagine they'll go back six hundred I six hundred I. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep. <clears throat> so the floodgates will be opened when that gets done. Um, and we also have, um, what was I thinking of? I don't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, yes. Very modular. Much ship, much ships. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, even though that was mostly you talking, because you are very familiar with the... It is back to you for the X1. The X1 is easy. Um, I couldn't find when it got added to the progress tracker. Like, it was very subtle in mentioning. But Sneaky. there, it's, it's had a couple little sprints. And so it's not in full production right now people and that's the problem is people will pull it up and they'll just see this bar and be like oh my gosh why is it taking so long it's because they were only working on it a little bit right here with vehicle content and then they stopped and then they picked it back up a little bit here with vehicle features uh, i'm guessing this is in order to um you know maybe it's gonna have something to do with the new gravlev physics I'm not sure, but then it's going back into production right here, so it'll probably continue to be into production later into 2023. Um, but they are, they do have plans to work on it, although I wouldn't be surprised if this fell off the progress tracker at some point, but we shall see. Yeah. The really tiny ships are, and they said this before, they are overlap fillers. So when somebody mm -hmm. works on something, either they got done sooner and there's an overlap that just, they just need to do something. So there's a gap in the schedule. They'll say, hey, go work on this for two weeks. And so that's what the the, the Ranger, other than its uh, tech problem, uh, the X1, the Lynx was probably that. 
Um, all the vehicles, basically, um, except for, I think, the Ballista or the Spartan Atlas platforms vehicles. Basically, all have been... Oh, no, the Tonka also was a dedication. Um, almost all of them after that have been gap fillers. Um, so, now we have... The Polaris, the other end of the um, Banu Merchantman thing. So it's always like that's those are the two big ones right now. It used to be Banu Merchantman and Carrick. Now it's Banu Merchantman and Polaris. <laughs> Who yep. will make it out first? Um, so basically, uh, when the Carrick got done, we'll go through the entire storyline of the Polaris. Um, it was said that the team would be split into two, and they'd work on the Banu Merchantman and the Polaris. They both had to get reconcepted, and that never materialized into forward momentum for a while. So they were both kind of dropped. The Bandu Merchant was picked up by the concept team with thoughts on going after the Polaris next. That never materialized, and we have the Bandu Merchant it is now. They've now since finished the reconcepting of the Polaris, which we'll be seeing on the next ISC. I'm so happy. Two days. Um, two oh! <laughs> mm, okay. Um, so we'll be seeing the reconcept of the Polaris. I imagine we'll get the galaxy before the Polaris because of scale. Um, like Shree has said several times today, the more reference they have, the faster the ship gets. They already have, at the very high end, the Retribution, the, uh, Bengal Carrier. So they have the entire library of the top end. The bottom end, they don't really have a lot of reference. The... So Con the Constellation and the Auroras Bengal... don't have the same tile set. Yeah, that's They're the thing. Old. is The Polaris is a new ship. It's mm -hmm. 2946. Um, the Constellation Much like the Galaxy is and the... very different. The Galaxy is very new. The Bengal is, you know, nearing on 100 years old. But it's... Um, it, it's, it's a very different... It, it does... It does look RSI, but it is very different. So I don't think it will yeah. inform the players as much. And I think that's part of the issue. And Just I think that's the part of why they... Yeah, I will, I will throw you out an airlock, sir. Oh, puppet, how dare you? How dare you? Um, um, so but it's the biggest... I think that's why they're doing the Galaxy first. Because I, I, I think that Leaks is correct on that. The Galaxy is in production. I think that's what they're doing. Warning, the spoiler first. alert. He's talking about the SC Leaks channel. Big flashy warning lights. At, yes, everything. You got to preface this stuff, man. Every, well, I mean, it's all out in uh, the galaxies out there now. So, But everything well, that, that Leaks said about the galaxy has pretty much come to fruition. And one of the things they said about it was that it's in production. And there is a unannounced ship that is... Big is big and would could very likely be the galaxy, and it would make sense because the other thing they said about the galaxy is that it was being built around um, gameplay for Pyro and essentially Nix that we either have or will have. You know, it and it, it basically said, you know says what the priority is, and that's more medical yeah. gameplay, refining, and cargo hauling. So, so what? Well, so it's very probable, at least from my perspective, that the Galaxy comes out with modularity in. Yep, and post Galaxy, they have all those assets. They've just gone through and made a large ship with the. the and I imagine the Perseus is next. Yeah, the thirty century sky, style language, and they can get to work on Perseus slash Polaris. I would I would say probably both. You know, near around the same time. You know, because I the, think to keep the team consistent, go, they'll do one. It goes the both other. ways though, because there's shape language in both ships on there. Mm -hmm. And I, yeah. everybody's the, I think the a misnomer is that everybody says, Oh, the Perseus has been in production for however long. Well, no, they stopped producing it for a long time and they've had, Wait, Oh, that's ones. right. It was in production. I forgot it was in production. Yeah. They, yeah, there was like a Bishop ton of tech debt back. they needed. And I would be willing to bet that the Perseus we have now is the, is a much more modernized version. Um, compared to the old one and so that it will you know that's part of why it will it shares so much language with the new you know with the galaxy so phase kitten thank you for the sub appreciate you thanks for joining us and they downscaled for the perseus upscaled for polaris 
Yeah, sort of. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that. Geometry doesn't really work like that. I forgot they were working on the Perseus for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, like, especially the uh, ground alignment, I think, it was actually kicking them in the butt. Yeah. Um, so Which is not is on that here everything anymore. for the Polaris? That's everything. It was, it was concept. It, concept is now complete, which we'll be seeing in two days. So happy. Yeah. Um, well, after that, it is, is waiting Mark for... II because it's only a few years old. Yeah. Uh, they're it's waiting a, it's for... It's essentially a brand new ship. Waiting for dev allocation. Yeah. Um, the Consolidated Outland Pioneer, there is nothing to report as far as development of the ship goes. If you want to learn about base building in Rastar, go watch episode 30 of the podcast. It's on my YouTube um, and you can uh, either watch the entire podcast or just the single episode that we did on Rastar. But Rastar is what will be used with ships like the Pioneer for outpost building, for building bases. Um, the only thing that has really changed on the Pioneer is that it's more of a 3D printer factory than it is just a assemble modules um, for bases. So um, it should have a bit more in the as far as factory type con uh, function versus just construction, if that makes sense. It's more of a Lego sense? brick builder and much less of a Lego set builder. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it, it prints things versus just assembles prefab things. I think is a good way of putting it. Um, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to get base building or, or uh, I, I would say factory ships. Um small uh, not, the small will be building. the concrete mixer you have trying to build your hut at, yeah. at on site so, so the pioneer did, is i think someone mentioned that one of the one of the um modules that they were thinking about for the galaxy in the future could be a construction or manufacturing Ooh. module i forget I, i'm gonna I get go, i'm gonna go get detail, a second galaxy somebody, right now <laughs> but somebody somebody mentioned that so oh that'd be really nice yeah. Uh, but um, the, the, but pioneer the Pioneer is so interesting, and Consolid Outland doesn't do not interesting ships. Um, they always do something something that's either off, quirky, or just no one should have done it in the first place. Um, which a lot of people think of the uh, Nomad landing gear about that one. But the, yeah. the Pioneer is specifically an on-site factory. What you do if you do not have a Pioneer, which all the big companies do it, is they build it somewhere else where the resources are cheap and they ship it in with a ship and they plop them down. That's how they get them there. Um, so the Pioneer is strange in the market that you build on site. Uh, so having different sized ships might not be to what they want the lore to be. Instead of having a Pioneer, you just have shipping in modules or on site building. And some not ship well. So that is up to their lore, basically. The Pioneer is odd in the entire universe. Oh, yay. The next one. The Drake Kraken slash Privateer. So, with the theme of ships that, you know, we know about and we've known about since forever. Um, it's basically done. Um, it came out with a... Uh, pretty solid concept. I yes, um, it was a. It yes. had a post twenty seventeen work. Um, uh, so we we actually saw it, it at the twenty seventeen CitizenCon from far away, twenty eighteen CitizenCon from far away. Um, not as in like playable mesh, but as a concept mesh, like we saw the Galaxy. Um, but that should show you how much the concept had been worked on. So, like I said, 2017 onward, concepts were much more thorough. They knew everything, where everything was going to go, and everything was metric. So, they are waiting on resources, again. So, concept done, waiting for dev allocation. My assumption, tinfoil hats, everyone, it's going to be worked on real soon, because they just got done with two other Drake ships. So, makes sense to, like, oh... You just worked on Drake. Go do more Drake. And, like, I think that's the only Drake ship in waiting? Yeah. As 
as far as I'm aware. So unless they invent a new Drake ship, the Kraken mm-hmm. is the last Drake ship not done. And it is a, like, beacon of Pyro's mentality. So, I would, I would highly is, uh, expect it to be done soon. Yeah. The thing I think that, that I would will say... they work on the Kraken simply because they need uh, a target. They need mm-hmm. something that pirate and pirate NPCs will be running around in, as well as players. But a lot of pirate yeah. And if NPCs we're going after the uh, Perseus soon, yeah, because otherwise, you know, things like the Perseus are p- things like the Perseus and the players are useless without a target. They are anti-capital ships. We don't have capital ships for them to target, except for Xeno Threat. And so you can't just introduce a ship simply for you know one event. Yeah. You know. Um, I would actually expect it not next end of next year, but 2024's Invictus Defense Con. Mm. I think if they mm-hmm. want, if they wanted to hit a, because they can't do like a big Drake two AIEs in a row. So if they wanted a sensible timing and not just a hey we got it done timing, they would schedule it to where it would come out um, at the end of Invictus. In 2024. Um, but we have no evidence of them moving on to that. And it's a big ship. So they seem to be allergic to big ships at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so big ships. Um, needs if you want management needs NPCs. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, if you guys want to know a little bit about the. Yeah. And yeah. Well, the other thing NPCs is the server meshing is a big one. We've got Gen 12. Uh, I, the other thing is Gen 12 Vulcan. And ship interior ob, uh, object or ship interior culling. They yeah. ship interior All culling was pulled because they didn't. They weren't going to do that until after Gen Twelve and Vulcan, um, because the um, the the interiors of capital ships absolutely tank frames, and that's why like the Bengal and the Idris um, in game don't have an interior. The javelin during Xeno Threat doesn't have an interior because it absolutely tanks frames because we don't have ship interior culling. Um, and so that is a tech limitation along with, you know, we need better performing servers. You know, we need, you know, um, and, and I don't think they're going to release those ships without giving them to players as well. So, yep. Yeah. Um, oh, they're just looking at, just looking at something. Origin G12. Origin, Origin G12. G12. The only mention that I could find, and it was a very um, off the cuff thing, was in a. Log in the Persistent Universe. T- it was. Oh, we're a little bit far ahead. Like, you can use the uh, capable ground vehicles to M don't have to, to sacrifice sleek looks with the currently in development G12 rover. So be sure to log into the Persistent Universe tomorrow and eat. Okay, so spring of 2020, uh, inside Star Citizen, uh, welcome to Invictus. Um, mm. He said, God, "I hate the, that it's an Invictus ship." Yeah, he said the the Origin Gen 12 was in development. G12. This is prior to yeah, or sorry, Origin G12, yeah, Gen 12. Uh, this was prior to the advent of the progress tracker, and I couldn't find any mention of it in the monthly reports. So I think it was deprioritized uh, and taken out of the pipeline um, shortly thereafter. Unless when he said production, he was referring to the concept art and the concept phase. Um, so because otherwise we haven't seen anything else. Um, and uh, beyond that, we know nothing about the origin G12. Um, but you know. It's not going to be a priority because it's another ground vehicle. This is, could be one of those ones like the X1 um, that is, you know, basically being will be used as um, uh, filler. Uh, Phase Kitten, why has the Gen 12 been in dev for so long? The reason it hasn't been worked on is because it doesn't add anything and they've had other priorities. Um, and the variants make it very much not an Ursa, but the G12 itself, the original uh, variant, is basically just or or origin, 
um, trying to compete directly with RSI. It is yeah. basically a direct competitor to the Ursa, and it looks much better while doing it. Yeah, um, I, I love RSI, but the G12 looks so much better it's in interesting that base that model. They included the G12 as just one, but then the X1 over here, they've got the base, the force, and the velocity. Uh, I thought they were on there. I thought the yeah. G12 was uh, on, on there. Sorry, on the image. On the image. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was. Thought... Yeah, they're there. They're there. 2020. G12A, G12R. Where are the other ones? That That's all of them. The G12, the R, and the A. Oh. Oh, okay. The mention. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't see those down there. So it must have been mentioned back here, but concepted down here. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Um, but yeah, that's the G12, not the Gen 12, G12. Back to you for one of my favorite ships, the Apollo. You're welcome for, for letting me take the Apollo. Oh, you could have had that one? You could have switched it? I lost the it's, document. It's okay, there it is. Too late. <laughs> yeah, it's too late now. All right, the RSI Apollo. One of the... Did this or the uh, Mantis come out first, concept-wise? Uh, this came out. First, oh, I that's so sad. Something. I'm pretty sure the Mantis was um, after. So we all know that the Apollo is yep. much later you. in the um, no, uh, much later in the medical gameplay. I already know, straight off the bat, we're not getting them till medical gameplay is more mature. Um, other things that have gone with the uh, uh, gone on with the Apollo Apollos. There's actually two of them. Um, I think they are mentioned mostly as one because it's kind of just um, the variants aren't that different. They're basically just move stuff around. That have asked for from yeah, building the, one. Yeah, um, the medevac is heavier armor and has missiles, the defensive <laughs> missiles, whereas the triage is faster and. Um, but they both have the same turret size. They just have different stock weapons. But other than that, they're they're essentially the same. It's a it's a so, loadout and armor, which is really <laughs> oh, that's so sad. A very so it went on to the progress tracker. Oh, I in was February. I was a very sad panda. It, it went it, on in February and it came off in September. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. So mm, man, so. Like the biggest reason, and they will they will tell you this straight up every time they talk about ships that is CIG. They don't want to release ships without associated gameplay. Yes, we have bed game. We don't have tier two or three, really, not really. Yeah, we have tier um, zero medical gameplay. It is very low level, low end. Yeah, like the beds technically have some different function, but there's a lot more function that tier two and three are actually supposed to have visual um like stuff that's gonna happen losing limbs can happen on a tier three bed or tier one bed i forget no tier three bed three is the worst um so there's a lot to go still in the the medical gameplay and they want to release the medical uh craft like the premier medical craft the medevac um when they have more of that done also it's an easier ship it's a medium ship so they can just kind of like spit it out within six months six to twelve months so it'll be easy when they get there it just depends on when the gameplay and tech is associated that they can do it yeah. also drones are part of this um ship so drone work is also and needed before the ship and, and modular i forgot about modularity so we have so much tech that we have gameplay that's not there um other than that it's concept re it's concept ready and waiting for dev allocation Thing the <laughs> Apollo being on the progress tracker when it was hey. is why I'm so why I'm relatively certain that they thought that modularity was going to be in very soon or was getting worked on very soon. No more auto bed heels will need actual medical personnel. Yes, I can't wait. Yeah, I want I this game to be, be more. There will be a engaging. certain level of automation, mm -hmm. but it's um, not for like, oh, I need to like graft on your limb because it got yeah. sheared off. 
and they they said that in the Apollo Q and A, that mm-hmm. it is not a set and forget thing. Um, I think if you are using your Anvil Pisces C eight R, and you put an injured patient in the the med bed, because uh, what they have said is that if you put somebody in the med bed, the auto doc will keep them alive. Um, until you can get them to definitive care. So you get them in the med bed, you land in the hangar, you you know, put them on the gurney, and then you push them into the 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 um, hospital freight elevator essentially, and away they go. And they wake up in a higher level med bed and get. I you. hate they have to be unconscious to use that though. Well, and so like I, I think it, without getting too much into it, I think that the it's going to talk work how they they talked about bounty hunting. Where if you mm-hmm. get captured, you can say, okay, I'm just going to press this button and I will wake up in the hospital bed. And the the ship, you know, the per, the people, you know, or NPCs will deliver a body to the hospital. Yeah. And they continue their gameplay, you continue your gameplay. And the difference will be for the people transporting and treating the, the, the patient you, how well they take care of your injuries, whether they deliver you at red or at green will affect the payout. And the makes sense. If you don't do anything, the bed will keep them at red. It'll keep them at alive, just barely. Yeah. But if you use the bed and you know how to use the bed and you've stocked the bed appropriately, you have the right, you know, essentially consumables. That yeah, because we don't use consumables injuries, currently, do we? Yeah. Then that will be what allows you to get up into yellow or up into green. You know, and if you have a, a tier three bed with a tier one injury, if you're really good, you can probably get them into the yellow. You know, hopefully, depending on, you know, how much supplies you have and how far you have to go, you know. And so that's the challenge in getting the payout because you're, you're, you're getting paid by insurance, your, your player's medical insurance. But yeah. Um, but that's a, another, another rant for me. I have to make a video on that at some point. <laughs> oh, uh, M, is it MT Stunner or Mount Stunner? Just donated $20 to supportstackup.org. Thank you hey. so much for the donation. Uh, not only uh, thank you for the donation, but that gets us to our $200 of our initial $200 goal. We have reached our first goal um, <clears throat> for donations to stackup.org. So I really wish my sound alerts worked right now because I, we could do, uh, I need to add one for when things like this happen so we can uh, give a, a big old cheers. Um, to to people who donate directly to stackup.org. Thank you so much, uh, Mount Stunner. I don't think you've ever been in chat. Um, so if this is your first time hanging out with us, uh, thank you for, for joining us and thank you for the donation. Uh, make sure you uh, give me a follow. Thank you, amigo or amiga. Um, what's the... Guys, gals, non-binary pals. You guys could always do a sing and a dance. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> what we will do is, is get a, a sound alert in order to properly congratulate and, and give praise to people who... Um, yeah, you guys don't want to see me dance, I promise. I dance for my one-year-old son in order to entertain him, and that's about it. In my channel, we have funny hats, but okay. Yeah. Um, um, I believe yeah. we're back to you with uh, okay. That no, that tracks. I get the Apollo. You get the Vulcan. Okay, you get the oh. Vulcan. See, we didn't do that right. Whoops. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a that's a fail on my part for making this list and not automatically assuming that that we, we should have done that. Um, for the Vulcan, there is one K gold there. tree dances. Absolutely, I'm behind hundred oh, percent. No. Uh oh. And he shaves his hair. He shaves we his hair. Yeah. Um, have a first time sure. chat from an obvious bot. I don't know how to get rid of the bots. Mod, <laughs> mod help. <laughs> um, I want to offer game. you promote your channel. Do you want to buy views and completely um, yeah. negate the terms of service you signed and get your channel banned for buying views Is... and look like an absolute moron when you do it? Is this a sign uh, associated with the fact that I have a hundred over a hundred followers now, and, and uh, people are actually they can actually find even no view channels? So oh man, it's just where the creepers go. It's like bot. Why are you even trying? What, what what's the point? We're, we're just hanging out, having fun. 
Yeah. They don't know. They're yeah. they're meant to seize channel attack channel. See channel attack channel. Yeah. It's a rabbit. That's what <laughs> that's is this is what they do. Mm-hmm. I don't have mod permission, so I can't help you. Sorry, I will have to work on figuring out how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will I will add you to mods, Nazareth. You are you are honorary mod. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Puppet, I will figure out how to give you mod permissions too. I just gotta remember how to do that. Not gonna do it right now. Okay. Uh Vulcan. <laughs> Super easy. Yes. So there is not nothing... the API. <laughs> yeah, not the, the Vulcan with the C, not with a K. That's the only way I remember it. Is the Vulcan with a K is the API, right? Mm, is it okay i'm pretty sure it is maybe i'm wrong either way the aegis vulcan the one that flies um has nothing to update us on yeah that's okay it has not been mentioned at all in monthly reports the has been not been on or off the progress tracker at any point um if you would like to know more about the vulcan um we talked a lot about it in episode 17, Droning On About Drones, which you... Ooh, I don't know if I converted that one over to my YouTube. But yeah, it oh, was a good episode. We had it's a lot somewhere. Of yeah, it's either on Nazareth's YouTube, and I haven't downloaded it and uploaded it to mine. Um, but we did do a big old video uh, about uh, drones uh, and, and every ship that has them and what information we have. But yeah, when you get drones, a chance, you should send me um, which ones you've uploaded. Uh, I haven't done a whole bunch of them just because it's a good amount of work tedious. and I've been real yeah. busy. Yeah, it is tedious. Yeah. And trying. I want to be removing them off with... mine as you're putting up. I do have a playlist, so you can see that. Okay, okay, I can, I can work that. Okay. Um, but yeah, the the other thing is integrating it when, and I should have uploaded some last week. That would have been easy, but mm. making because if I try and upload too many of them along with my other content, it totally throws off the algorithm. Oh, yeah. and You got to yeah. do it at like a, a period, like one a week or something. Yeah. If doing uploading videos well, at a every other a day pace, you'll... absolutely, like basically quadruple views in the span of a week. So, yep. Yeah. If you can keep that consistently, like you, you'll make bucks. That's yeah. why people that upload everyday crap stuff is, you know, sitting in a okay. house with like other millionaire YouTubers. Got to make bucks for for stack up, um, but yeah, that's it for the Vulcan. So back to you. For we are at the oh, good news, good news, everyone. Yeah. Good news. I, I can't say it, so I'm gonna let you do that. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go to the bathroom. All right, Sentoki Ai, uh, the Apollo Sentoki Ai, um, is the medium fighter. And funsies, funsies, it's on the progress tracker. Um, let's see. I have all of my windows just screwed up right now. Alrighty. So, that is the wrong window. Send the guy. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yes, just, uh, why don't you break so I can't do this? The Santa Guy is scheduled to start its production cycle in January. January looks like the first. If we go over to the uh, shiny tracker, go to the scheduled deliverables and search up the same thing. It is not there yet. No, that's because I'm on the wrong page. There we go. Set. Google, could you like... Do the thing I ask you to do. Some TI is not yet marked on the Shane Tracker yet. It's fine. Probably because it hasn't been worked on. Oh, there's nine references. Yeah, it's not there. I not there. Okay, so it's there. not yet there. On the, on the Shane Tracker? Here it is. Uh, I got it on the progress tracker. I, I can't find it on Shiny. Oh yeah, sorry. Yep, it's on. Yeah, on the progress tracker, not on shiny tracker because it hasn't started soon. Soon so PM. It is scheduled for U.S. vehicle content, so the actual building of the ship, from January to June. Makes sense. It's a smallish medium fighter uh, from the Xi'an um, manufacturer of Poa, which makes all of their uh, fighter ships. So fighters will always come from Poa. Um, what is it called? Uh, cargo will always come from Gatek. 
um, how that, that's how they run their government. Um, whatever manufacturer does the thing does only that thing, and no other company does that thing. Um, unlike in human uh, companies, they'll step on each other's toes. Uh, you'll know that when you get an Apoa thing or a Xi'an thing, is the best that entire culture can produce because they're the only ones that do it and they do that exclusively. Um, so we'll be getting it uh, Q3 next year, possibly. And to, in case um, anything... <laughs> in case anything gets deprioritized or higher prioritized, that's that's where it is. It is on its way. Ta-da! A really nice one. Uh, Sentucky uh, reminds me Blizzard of grass with type... The... With the ban of the bot. Hooray for Blizzrad. Yay! Cartwell seriously needs splits for a hanger until the yay comes up. Need, needs needs what? Stilts for a hanger? Why stilts? I don't think you can split up Xion words like that, but okay. I call it the sand weather or the talk before I call it the yai. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. So you are doing the SRV, one of your favorites. Yes. I love the SRV. I cannot wait. Why do I love the SRV? Because I love tractor beams. And we. He loves his tractors. I, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was actually, I think, our third episode um, oh where I, I did back. a big old scanner anomaly on tractor beams ship uh, ship and vehicle tractor beams called she thinks my tractor is sexy i don't remember if i've uploaded that episode on my youtube yet gotta get around to it but it was a lot of fun a lot of good information so um the argo srv uh from 2019 man it feels like it was longer um we do have some information on which is good um they just mentioned in um, we've got the SCL from just a couple of weeks ago, 11 days on the 18th, um, that the, uh, uh, the Argo SRV is basically two thirds of the way through final art. Um, and you know, well, well into production right now. Um, the question is, how is that going to line up with the work on ship tractor beams? So we will be keeping an eye on it. I imagine um, as the work on vehicle tractor beams gets going, um, we will see more, you know, hopefully see some of this in engine, get some more information on it. Yeah, I was really hoping that we would phase kit, and I was really hoping we would see the SRV um, at IAE like they showed us the Vulture at Invictus Launch Week, if you guys remember that. But... I guess it's not quite there yet. Um, um, I don't know anything about the Cutlass Black going undergoing any any development right now. If you've got a, a link or something, let me know. Um, we try to keep abreast of everything, but you know it's kind of impossible. I haven't heard of that either. Citizen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but here is the work for the SRV. So when you look at it, they're like, like oh my gosh, why is it taking right. so long? It's because it's all part-time work. They're coming, mm -hmm. they're working on it and then coming and going, working on it, coming and going. Check the ship matrix. I'm working on it. Does um, one of the, the ship matrix show anything about development? Uh, by the way, my nickname for the... Um... It, okay, so the the ship page, not technically the matrix, um, the ship page says update pass in progress. So they may be gold standarding. Oh, the ship page we'll, for the the cutlass black. Yeah, the ship page. Um, I call the oh, ship matrix the matrix of lies. They, yeah, that's just a status that they leave up there. Matrix of lies. Yes. Yeah, there yeah. there hasn't been um, any, other than so. One thing if I want this to point is... out yeah, go ahead. To, uh, before, uh, so we'll go to teams. Um, not all of the specific work around ships gets added as a specific deliverable. Right. So 
each team, just uh, essentially every team has bug fixing and tech debt sprints on the mm. progress tracker. And these bug fixing and tech debt sprints are interspersed essentially when they have enough bugs you know, that they need to go back and work on them or ones that are significant enough or there's enough tech debt um, or there has been tech advancements that let them go back and update things for ships, like from the vehicle feature, vehicle tech teams. They'll, that's when they'll do this stuff. And so things get lumped into these sprints without making a separate deliverable. Um, best example is the Mustang, with the Mustang getting its um, functional cargo bay thing. Wasn't ever added as a sprint. It, it didn't and ever show up on the progress tracker. It just to one of those things further that falls the um, to further the evidence against. It meaning anything? We all know the 600i is currently in reconcepting of the interior and gold standard pass. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It says nothing on its product page. Yeah, not a thing. So yep. it could mean it could not mean. Um, if anything is heard, we'll probably hear it in the monthly report, which is coming up in a week or two. Although they so. might just be showing us the work from back at q4 21 2021 q1 2022 yeah you know they could just have been sitting on it for that long like, like i said yeah. it's matrix of lies um it could mean something could be nothing um it is a very to... unreliable source oh yeah we do not use it we do not go there except for 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 funds and laughs to poke fun at it eventually it'll be tied into the game and so every time there's an update in the game it'll automatically update the website Yes, eventually it'll be the matrix matrix of numbers, but currently mm -hmm. it's a matrix of lies. Um, but the second it's hooked into the web, the hooked into the game, um, Urkel is just going to rip that and have a much better UI. So I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Turbulent has a a lot of work ahead of them in order to try and compete with things like Urkel. Urkel and the Armory and what's the what is, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a lot. UX Corp. UX Corp is amazing for just everything. Mm -hmm. Like, it shows you not only in-game, out-of-game, function, crew, SCU, what you get as a loaner. Um, it's standalone price, warbond price, package price, in-game buy, in-game rent, and where to get them. And that's just ships. It also has locations, refining jobs, refining, trade... Commodities, harvest bills, price, price search, routes, volunteers, and about pages. It's like a entity wiki almost. Like it's it's super useful. All right, so we are at the Chumbrel, uh Ranger. Ranger. Oh man. So I'm a friend who actually has no idea why I like it much. So if you guys like sci-fi and motorcycle sound off in the you know, comments the, the chat whatever but the double <laughs> ranger it is the rugged like Space super sci-fi utilitarian motorcycle i like it i love it um <laughs> uh dun, 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 dun. i'm a ranger for one. nice so where is the tumble ranger so it is blocked by at least one uh tech it needs the two-wheel vehicle physics, which they had. They posed to Chris, and Chris said, well, you could work on this or work on resource or something. They had some other tech, tech that they could work on, and they said, two-wheel vehicles can wait. Better tech. Um, so they're waiting on the two-wheel vehicle physics, and it was on the roadmap. wasn't on the roadmap. Um, this left with the Apollo. So at the same time the Apollo got taken off, the Tumbrel got taken off, or the Ranger got taken off. Um, I do feel like I've heard something s not too long ago about it. I might be high. Ng, no, there's nothing on, nothing on the progress tracker. Okay, um, but that is basically it. It is full concept, just waiting for devs to be assigned to it. Because it's like the smallest little thing. The only thing small than it is an X1. It is another one of those when they're just a gap in the schedule, they'll drop this in. Um, after, of course, they do the 
the two old physics. And the thing holding back two old physics mainly is it is dev, it, it is engineering time for literally three vehicles, which number less or the same amount of wheels of the Ursa. So it's so unprioritized that it's not even funny. There's no need for it. It is simply a vanity project for Star Citizen. Yep. Nobody needs this. Uh, Maybe but we, we all would really like to have it. <laughs> huh? Maybe when we have roads. Maybe when we have roads, yep. They they did, like, almost say you have to worry about the um, rocks if not for roads in one of the discussions, in one of the Q&As, the uh, uh, all-vehicle Q&A stuff. So maybe they're waiting on roads to be a thing, which would mean better civilization and update to the Rastar for cities and all this other stuff. So after all that, in five years, we might get the uh, time roll. We don't really know. What we're um, it's just waiting for dev time. Yep. As most of the other stuff on here. So back to you with the Nautilus. All right. So, oh man. <laughs> um, what did you, did you put that in there with the Nautilus? From the all-vehicle yes. Q&A? Yes. Because they said, they, they said. Uh, oh, yeah. They lumped it in with the players. Yeah, Areas so, of vehicles uh, and environment. So, handy tool. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a little lesson, real quick for everybody. <laughs> so, uh, not gonna give away all our secrets, but if you're if you know that you're like, ah, oh, I know that this information was in this video, you know, but I just can't find it. If you go here, the little dot dot dot, click this, show transcript. It shows all the words out of a auto generated transcript for that video. And then what? you can just press Control F. Been looking for that forever. Nautilus, ta da! Oh, because it's there, not over. I was looking for it on top of the video. That's why. Mhm. Mm so, I've right seen here. that before. We'll, we'll, we'll listen, to, and then as you know that in the timestamp, you just click on the timestamp and. Uh, anything for the Perseus or the Nautilus? Nice. Uh, I think they are okay. where where they were when they were last shown at Concept. Okay. Uh, simply concept, but, but as a little bonus, <laughs> actually, uh, here, we're going to move this over here. That's magic. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's oh, that's going to help with all of my future things. I, I've been looking for that for a while. I'm. As a bonus, because the Nautilus is not a production, I have a, I think it's in here. Let me find it. Though so it got wow. like a really solid concept. Like it had like a lot of geometry. It did. We're going to watch it right now. Oh, okay, cool. So cool, cool, cool. This is the interior. This is white box. So I, I had these handy. So that way... We could talk about what white box is when we go into the ship pipeline. So more on because, this later. Yeah, more on this later. Because this makes me want a Nautilus. Like this video made me want. Yeah, this is what did it for me too. So if you look at where the Nautilus is a 2019 concept, and 28, you know, um, the 2018 is essentially when this new process became to be where concepts stopped being just pictures, um, and really became a whole. It, you know, um, white box mesh is the concept phase. And that way, the ships from essentially 2018 on, maybe a little bit in 2017, they not only have it a full exterior mesh, but an interior white box. So that way they have all of the pathfinding. They make sure the corridors are big enough for AI and players to get by. They find out where the components are going to go, what size they're going to be, you know, the whole shebang. So back to this. These were accidentally leaked by one of the artists who did them, um, and they were subsequently deleted within minutes, but I am fast. The internet never forgets. The internet never forgets, and I saved them, and I have been willfully sharing them ever since. So if you haven't seen these before, we'll go through them real quick just for grins, because I love the Nautilus, even though 
it's a mine layer ship. So you can see you're going up into the bridge and the nose. A mine layer plus, as we learned in a yeah. couple episodes ago. But it's Cause... you know the the mine layer is the main feature, but it has you know it's got you know a, a dual size seven turret and a couple of well, I mean, also side and missile launchers. It has drones for retrieving your mines and you know maintaining them. Uh, it's if if you're looking I probably at like this pitch this ship, scheme, yeah, better than I'll like it when it comes out. <laughs> I like the black and red. <laughs> but if you're walking through here, if you notice something. It is very, the interior geometry is super similar to what other Aegis ship from that time period. The flippin' hammerhead. Oh, okay. All I was like, why bulk- one has square doors? I know another one has square. The bulkheads, the doors, the flooring, the. Oh, yeah. Um, and especially over here, the padding on the walls with the sort of circular tubes. Like, this well, that's even in the Idris, nearly- so. Yeah, well, the Idris too. So the Nautilus is another one of those ships. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's going to take forever to make." No, look at this. No, look at this. And we already had the we already we have the Idris. We have the Hammerhead. This is not a difficult ship for them to make. That's a six month ship. Easy, e- easy six month ship. Here's the next one. But basically, you can with these videos, you get a full tour of the entire interior of the ship at this quality. This is white box, folks. This is what white box is now. Um, <clears throat> it did say that this is white box. Like this would be like game ready for most games. Yeah, yeah. You know, look at the like, look at these components, and you know, I would not be shocked if this is the quality. Like obviously, texture and normal maps aside, like I would not be shocked if Starfield came out with this level of geometry detail. I imagine there's a mix of gray box too because they're probably reusing assets. That oh yeah, are yeah, gray yeah. Box yeah. Quality. Anything they have fit, assets uh, for already. Yeah. Pop them it's in. It's technically a white box phase. Yeah. Like that door is probably just ripped out of the hammerhead or Idris. Same with those Drone panels. Bay. Yeah. I can't tell you how many times I've watched these. Yeah, she knows the Idris Steinfeld. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, and John Crew mentioned Aegis when he was talking about it. We'll talk about it when we get into the Spectrum Pulse how the there's a cargo bay. Um, yeah, cargo. You know, with Aegis, like you know, with the Idris and the Javelin, you know, and the Hammerhead as well. They're like, you know, you know, if you've built one corridor, you've built ninety corridors, and you've built you know a huge uh, portion of the ship already. And that's why, you know, if they were going to make another large Aegis ship. You know, like when they actually put the Nautilus into production, it'll go really fast because they already have mm-hmm. the Javelin. They already have the Idris. They already have the uh, the Hammerhead, you know. Which um, is why you may have seen something that looks oddly like a bangle that isn't a bangle just mm-hmm. spring up out of absolutely zero. <laughs> Animations on the exterior. Look at how clean that exterior is. And this it's is so nice. I, I want to just have this in the hangar just to look at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just so want this you, sitting at my house. It's so pretty. If you want these files, join my Discord and ping me. And I will share them with you. Because I'm it's a so kind pretty. individual. Look at that. It pop it poops out the little mines. You know. The turrets move around. The VTOLs move around. These are the VTOLs I was hoping that they would put on the Redeemer. Take off the stupid nutcrackers, put these things on. That way it would actually... Oh, that would... Well, scale them down in t- tad, but yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, shrink, to, <laughs> shrink to size, but these look cool as hell. Yeah. yeah that would have been... Yeah. Mm. CIG, mm-hmm. can we get a new year model? Um, yeah. Deemer and... Underside with the landing gear animations. The This is the missile yeah, turret. Yeah, we shrunk it down just a bit. Look at the missile turret. That oh, I that didn't cool? forgot. I forgot about that one. That is yeah. more. V-tals. And the landing gear is smooth. The this ship is just so launchers. like high class, man. Yeah. Like people will say, oh, I'm not interested in drone gameplay. Uh, I'm not really interested in or the, the mining, the mine gameplay. I'm not all that interested in this either. But the ship is just cool as hell. And look at the I'd use it as an exploration. Can't, don't they have exploration mines? Scanning mines? Uh, probes? There we go. Probes. Use it as a gunboat and just fill it with yeah. uh, 
uh, probes. I'm so glad it's leaked out. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the Perseus turret face, though? Uh, Does the Perseus so. have... Looks different so to me. Either way, super cool ship. Yeah, very. Oh, da, 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 da. No, it's completely right. different. I'm I'm just dumb. So it's fine. sidetrack. Sorry, <laughs> got a little <laughs> bit sidetracked because I, I I love the Nautilus, but yeah, it's mm -hmm. in concept. But that's <laughs> what concept looks like, you know, or white you know white box concept for the Nautilus. That Otherwise, there's been no hint. Never. But, um. Well, we have that this up. What is interesting? There we go. Uh, they did work on space mines. They start. They did a little bit of narrative work and weapon uh, weapons feature work back in May June of this year, and they're doing more with vehicle features starting in March April. Why would they be working on mines if? They weren't the only ship that can lay mines isn't in the game. Yeah. So in space, players in certain ships will gain the ability to release different types of space mines in a coordinated fashion in an attempt to trap, damage, and capture enemies or set up defensive perimeters. So just saying, I wouldn't be surprised if the Nautilus goes into production after they get space mines done or maybe a smaller concept, but I think it'll probably be the Nautilus. Um, because I really hope the they don't just make up a new one. For them. Yeah, I think the Nautilus is easy for them to do. So Yeah. And yeah, that's it for the, the Nautilus and all things Nautilus. Uh, back to you <laughs> for, what's up next? The Raylan. So we are catching got up. Got to Raylan. Hey, the, I got the, both the, the alien. Um, so uh, we definitely need to hurry through these because you still got the, uh, we still got the pulse to do. The pulse probably um, won't be too long, so it's only twelve thirty. So, yeah. all right. So the right one. I lost where we put it because there's nothing to it. It came out. It did concept sale, and it was done. It is waiting for dev time. It is unprioritized because it is an alien ship without aliens to actually use it. Um, it's another cargo ship. We don't have the economy hooked up, so there's no real reason to put it in. Um, so it's just, it is a concept that's waiting for allocation. Uh, specifically, I imagine it will be done, even though Godtech is a separate manufacturer, after the Sentucky Eye. So the best bet of it going into production soon will be right after the Sentucky Eye. Um, other than that, there is nothing to say. It was concepted, then shelved. Cool. Back yeah, to you so for uh, the little refinery that could. A yeah. little refinery that could. Um, it's Mr. tiny! Spence, nothing to report, not even on the progress tracker, um, which um, is interesting because the Expanse was sold back in April, right? That's when it was the concept release, April, May-ish. Um, but it's not even on the progress tracker at all for even concept artwork in 2022 or 2021. So Weird. we... Yeah. Um, just to show that you guys I'm not crazy. Misc. No expanse. Expanse. Else if I spell it right. Mm. Not on there. So the expanse is actually a older concept, which just means that it was concepted prior to 2021. Other than that, we don't, we don't know when, um, it was done. Probably around the same time they did the uh, the prospector. Mm -hmm. I it it looks so similar. It looks so similar. It's got a lot of the same shapes on it. The Raylan is not Gian Cargo because it has its own concept art sprint. Gian right Cargo, from what I've heard, 
is the big ship that we've seen for a while back when we had some old, old, no, not even leaks. This was like actual stuff that uh, they showed. They showed off in a video, yeah. Yeah. So Shion Cargo is squadron specific stuff. Um, and it does say vehicle up there, right? It's a vehicle team that did it. It is Squadron 42 Art. Art, okay. So it could be a vehicle, the, it could be just cargo yeah. that is Shion specific. Squadron 42 Art teams work on literally everything. It could um, be little Shion that are cargo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Squadron 42 Art worked on the Bengal. They worked on the enemy ships, which is the pirate ships, the Sidness mining droid, uh, the Vandal fleet, Xi'an cargo. So, yeah, it's uh, non-specific. They worked on the Idris. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's see. You just did the Raylan. Oh, yep. we got out of order somehow. Oh, weird. What? What do we do? What do we break? Because I did Nautilus, you did Raylan. I already did the Expanse, so... Right? Oh, no, you did the Expanse. Oh. We were talking about the Expanse, and then we got sidetracked by the, the Chion Cargo. Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry. Um, oh, I was thinking Gatak Raylan because they were talking about it in chat. Um, nothing to report yep. on the Expanse. Concepted prior to, 2020, uh, prior to 2021, so we don't know when it was concepted. The only thing that's interesting is the Galaxy having a refinery module suggests that refinery gameplay is going to be a priority, probably you know, starting in the next year, in 2023. So I could see the Expanse going into production in 2023. If they're going to be working on refinery gameplay, I imagine that they will be releasing the Expanse with it. Um, if, if not the same time as Galaxy-ish, plus or minus a quarter, um, nearly so. But uh, yeah, there's otherwise nothing to report on the Expanse. Back to you for the Perseus. Perseus. Um, again, back to that same uh, all-vehicle Q&A uh, from months ago. Um, it's concept done as well. Waiting on dev allocation. It's kind of in that weird spot, too, where it's not really needed. There's no big ship to shoot at, except for in events or specific cases. Uh, so there's no general gameplay for it. Um, so it is kind of waiting for just stuff to clear up and the game to press. There's no specific tech that it needs, though specific tech was going to be given to it. Uh, the cargo ground door alignment was being worked on for it. Everything since has been removed from the progress tracker. So it was on the progress tracker, and then it was removed from the progress tracker, along with all the stuff that made it special. So... It is currently shelved and waiting for reallocation. So wow. as all wow. for that. Yep. It, well, I wasn't really waiting for the Perseus. I was waiting for the Perseus to get on so they can move on to other RSI ships. I assumed that's what they do. Yeah. Um, but it looks like we might get Galaxy, either Galaxy Polaris Perseus or Galaxy Perseus Polaris. Yep. Is how it's going to roll out. Um, but I do think the Galaxy will be the first to come. The pol uh, the. Polaris and the Perseus really just need targets, and that's just... Oh, she's in my late? Ah, only by two hours and a half. That's okay, Blood Tide. Welcome. Thanks for coming and joining us. Um, we are almost wrapping up with the um, sit rep for the um, concept, for the, the vehicles still in concept, or the unreleased vehicles. So, uh, But the video in its entirety will be up on my YouTube tomorrow, if you want to catch it there. Um, we're almost done with this portion, but then we're going on to, yeah, you and me both, friendo. Um, but uh, after this, we're going to be doing a hopefully a short and sweet spectrum pulse on the ship pipeline and why the estimates for dealing with the backlog um, might uh, yeah. <laughs> will uh, are, are unlikely to uh, take as long as people think. Um, yep. Anvil Liberator, which is our next one. Um, and Anvil Liberator, last year, so we are almost done, um, is only on the progress tracker for its concept. And I imagine that this work here is finishing up concept work that was started before, because this is Q3 of 2021, um, progress tracker started back here in Q1 2021, so I imagine there was more work done prior this is where they wrapped it up prior to um, it being you know, sold as a concept. So 
Um, yeah. Uh, Blizzard, did I convince you that you needed a Nautilus? Was that me? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I apologize. No, I do not. I'm I not. Apologize. I will never apologize for making people want Star Citizen um, stuff. You do money responsibly. Blood Tide, I think the Liberator is going to come before the Kraken. Um, and so, yeah, I, I wouldn't be... Su- well, they, they only do... As far as I'm aware, they don't do loners for ships from... Well, well no, do they do. Uh, it might be. You're right. No, it could be. Yeah. Um, I uh, Liberator and, and Galaxy are two ships that I definitely expect to see going into production. Um, if I think the Galaxy is already in production. I think the Liberator will go into production next year. Um, but yeah. Uh, back to you for the oh Odyssey Odyssey. All right, the Misc Odyssey, the thing we thought was going into instant production, and then we, as Jack stole the only prototype and went to Pyro with it. So where is the Odyssey? In concept, waiting for development time. Uh, we haven't heard anything about its production since the concept, um, though we probably will hear something about it. Uh, and this is just speculation, somewhere around the time of um, Pyro being released. And that is just pure speculation about that. Yep. Uh, I don't um, believe... Okay, it, it was in the progress tracker, but only for Dart. Yeah, only concept art. So if you look at the concept art phase here, you can see how much longer this one is than the concept art that was shown for the Liberator. That's why I think the Liberator was concepted mostly prior to 2021, uh, 2021 mm-hmm. whereas this was you know, a pretty good long concept phase. And if you remember from the Odyssey release, um, they did the ISC or whatever it was on it, and they did you know like a full in, in editor, in engine too. tour. That is true. They keep stealing yeah. our concept ships. Hmm. Dirty pirates. Um, but Jackson's you can see here that... You know, for 32 weeks, it was in vehicle concept art, and they did basically an entire interior exterior mesh of the Odyssey in this period. It doesn't look as detailed as the Nautilus, but you know, it's you can you know uh, all the corridors. I mean, it was at least ready for the show. Yeah, yeah. So you, um, but yeah, if you remember what they they showed us in engine, you know, like walking around giving you the tour, you you could see you know. Um, how big the hangar was, you know, and the vehicle bay, the whole, you know, all that. Um, but that's right. you know, essentially where um, the galaxy is right now. And there's an unannounced vehicle that matches up perfectly with it. So back to you me. for the Legionnaire for the Legionnaire. Um, so the Legionnaire, oh, I lost it. Uh, there was, let's see, Anvil Legionnaire Roadmap Roundup. There we go. We only have two, three to go after this one. So, the... Doo, doo, doo. We know that the Legionnaire is blocked by at least hacking. There we go. And... Ah, bingo. Okay, so, this is the work that's been done on the Legionnaire. You can see concept art phase narrative leading up to its concept release. Um... Ship to ship docking, ship to ship is, docking in. is done. Yep. Yeah. The, the tech is in. Yeah. Um, and then this is when it was added to the progress tracker in May uh, when it was sold as a concept. But at this point, it was not just that concept work here. It was actually going to be going into production. Um, and initially it was going into production towards the end of 2022. Then it got pushed back starting in 2023. Um, and then that work was taken off the progress tracker. And it says, due to the vehicle awaiting a gameplay dependency from Squadron 42, this deliverable has been temporarily removed from the progress tracker. So 
the deliverable is still there, but what they re removed was the vehicle content sprint that was due uh, was initially in here, was then pushed back to here, and then has since been removed. Well, what does the Legionnaire do? It hacks in order to board your ship. Well, oh my. Hacking tier zero, Squadron 42 gameplay dependency has had a crap ton of work. We've been talking about that on the podcast for a while now. I almost guarantee you the gameplay dependency from Squadron 42 that the vehicle the Legionnaire is waiting on is hacking. Once hacking is done or done enough that um, they can start production of the Legionnaire, that it will go back into production. Um, um, Blizzard, the reason that we don't have ships that can dock to other ships is because there's no ships that dock with ships. <laughs> um, the Merlin docking to the colony was the feature. We don't have any other purpose to do there's no no ships have been set up for it other than those well, two ships yeah the other the other ships haven't been set up for it they did the tech and the proof of concept was the connie p52 you know combo and so the tech is there but that means that somebody has to go back and do the work for the little docking tunnels um for ships to dock to each other and that yep. part they haven't done yet but the the tech that requires is the an update hurdle. on all of the ships yeah. And you know, they don't I think that's a, a not a, a all low... ships have docking capability. Yeah. And I think that's a, a that's low hanging fruit. I don't think that's a big thing, but yeah. it's a that's a vehicle feature team um ask and the vehicle feature team is busy with squadron forty two requirements right now. So therefore um yeah. it's not uh, isn't refueling very star hurt. Yes, that is also ship ship docking. So actually, yeah. no, you are correct. Some all ships have some form of ship ship docking for yeah. fueling. It uses the same tech, uh, the same physics work in order to make those things function in the game. Um, but, you know, yeah. So no player stations made up of 24,534 ships docked together, docked to each other yet. Yet, yet. is a is the key word there. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Flotillas will be made. Um, um, but that is it for the Legionnaire. So we'll keep an eye on... Um, Hacking, and the Le and see if the Legionnaire goes back into production soon. Um, the other thing is, you know, the Legionnaire needs targets, and really, it needs larger targets. So it needs a Kraken. Um, yeah, but what I'm hoping for is being able to dock the Legionnaire and disable the Xenothread Idris and board mm. the effing thing. I know they don't want you know Squadron Forty Two spoilers, but that would be a great way to get past that. Be like, you know what? We're gonna let you board it. Um, you'll be able to disable it, do the whole soft kill thing. You won't be able to steal it, but you can board it, kill Xeno Threat, take their loot, you know, and then you know, whatever, you know. That would be amazing. That's the that's the gameplay. They I they should do that too. Both the, the also the Idris that you can make spawn with the the. It's oh, the, the one thing for the bounty. It's the what gang is that? It's uh, I know. I haven't done. I've that been a part of it ever. like twice, and we got it yeah, down Arlington like ten gang. seconds. Arlington, Arlington yeah. mission. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, nineties too. Yeah, yeah. The nineties uh, is just like eh, <laughs> eh. Anyway, the I UTV, see. the utility, utilitarian touring vehicle. I don't. Know what it was. Um, it's adorable. So this. It's amazing. It's the golf cart with guns, or not with guns, but for guns. Um, Gun it's it's the it's the ship or it's the vehicle that will be used for like your committing officer running around the base. This is that ship. Um, it was concepted out when they did the Steve or the STV. Uh, they also redid the PTV at the same time. Um, the PTV and UTV are both still concept ready and waiting for dev time again these are one of, these are super small ships so they'll be dropped in when there's an overlap in schedule or they have just little time to burn before switching on 
maybe for um uh what's the what's the word the the thing that makes people do something to get done and to a treat or something to entice the the artist or something like hey you really like the utv you get that work done in time i'll give you this that is a big thing in um being a producer in uh the software space is finding what is positive motivation for your team so if somebody really wants to work on a ship you say okay get that work done you get to play with this <laughs> um that was actually used on the retaliator landing gear i on the landing gear needed to be done and they wanted to move on to a different ship and like okay you can move on to that ship when the landing gear is done <laughs> so we got the landing gear done pretty quick <laughs> so back to you for the crusader spirit uh, again, for the, the other people that were working on the. So, show transcript. Spirit. Mm. People that were working on the cutter, um, they moved on to I only, to I spirit. only knew so, or figured yeah. out spirit fingers were a thing like two days ago. The people who are working on the cutter are now working on the spirit. The spirit, so they just talked about it right here in the IAE 2952 super uh, vehicle super talk. And oops, close the wrong thing. Um, it is on the progress tracker. Interestingly enough, it is just one deliverable right now. They didn't, unlike the Hercules, they didn't mm. break it up into the variants. So, concept art right here, very short concept art which suggests to me that this was concepted um, prior. I, I would be willing to bet the Crusader Spirit was concepted um, closer to when um, the other Crusader ships were being concept or were in production um, at that time, and they just didn't release it at that point as a concept. But now that it's, go now it's going into production... Um, they did say that they're working mostly on the bomber variant. I'm sure they're also probably going to work on the cargo variant. Um, but um, the tra pers the transport missions have been put on and removed from the progress tracker. And I don't think we will see the E1 until those missions come back on. The good thing is a lot of the tech for those missions is done. It's just essentially work needing, you know, they need the mission feature team to work um, on making those missions with the tech that they have in game now. Uh, that will probably be post server mission. Could be. Yeah. I mean, just I, as time, just as yeah. like what stuff they're working on and what stuff they want to get done. I, that's just, it's one of those things that I expect to see going into production this year. Um, and I don't next think year. when, yeah, this, this next year. Yeah. Um, and it's also not a, a big, huge ask when they've scheduled it before it was not a very long block of work you know like i said the tech part is done the mission feature team needs to take the pieces of tech um, and put them together into features um, in order to make the content you know make the yep. missions but yeah then that is the crusader spirit and the last but certainly not least The RSI Galaxy. Nazareth, you there? Yep, I'm here. Yeah. I yeah. figured you were playing the instruments and stuff. But we, anyway, it's fine. Oh. Um, so the RSI Galaxy, our latest concept ship, and the thing that sparked the entire debate on the backlog. Um, so where is it? Was it done? And why have, don't we have it in our hands? So is concept ready? Done? Solved? Waiting for allocation? As we've talked about in this show previously, um, that will pro it will probably be sooner rather than later. Um, so far, we don't have any confirmations on it being anywhere, but according to tree sources, at least it is in the works, just as a unannounced. Um, and if you want to know how really ready they are to work on this, if you look at the um, ISC where they talked about it, they weren't talking far off in their. Um, choice of words they were talking hey we're ready to tackle modularity kind of word um so this might be coming out sooner than normal or sooner rather than later 
um, with its uh, cargo module and its refining module that may be a smaller ask than an entire ship, so they might just do that instead of the, and then do the expanse next, speculation. But it is definitely something that is high on their radar, and they also want to make sure it was a civilian ship. So, it is currently, much like all the rest, still done concept, so white box is done. Um, so, keep that in mind as we go on to the Spectrum Pulse, but is still waiting, as far as we know, awaiting dev allocation to begin uh, gray box and production ship to come into the game. If it does come into the game soon, um, I imagine that will be 4.0 or 4.1. What is your what is your uh, little list there say? Oh, I think later than that. Oh, really? Uh, well, at four. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I would say four one four two, but yeah. At four one four two, okay. Yeah. Yeah, asking for four oh is may, it, maybe a bit much. I will. I will. Just depend. That also is like you know depends on when four oh is you know because I, I you know if four oh is Q three and four one is Q4, then, you know, that's a, a whole year of production time-ish. Yeah, but, but that, should, that should be easy to do in that ship. It's mm -hmm. a, not a big ship. Um, by the way, Blood Tide said I'll melt my STV for UTV. Why not both? Um, I know you said that later, but yeah, just, 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 just both. There's four of the STVs, uh, another four of the UTVs. Um... I want all the vehicles. I want. I can't wait till we get rid of the uh, spawn, the vehicle spawn cap, so I can just spawn all the vehicles, mm -hmm. especially just like dealing them out um, to all my friends. I'll just buy so many vehicles. Um, so initially, I was hoping that this was going to be my Anvil LPD, not LHD, because mm -hmm. LHD would be too big and it's probably not going to be player ownable. But an LPD would be player ownable, just because of how long the concept phase is. You know, basically, over, you know, over well over a year of concept. Wouldn't so an LHD be an Anvil Kraken? Uh, yeah. Well, bigger. The uh, uh, the a javelin LH sized Anvil Kraken. <laughs> big. It probably even bigger than that. I think the LPD would be Kraken plus. Would be Kraken plus size. Um, just big. You know. Comparing it to current metrics of what an LPD is versus an LHD, uh, the much... the javelin is twice the size of the kraken. Yeah, and in I length LH... alone, I think an LHD in stars and terms would be bigger than a crack or bigger than a javelin. I think it would be looking at cruiser to battle cruiser size, Polaris sized. Size, but... Yeah, um, but this is the if you're watching us right now. This is the one that I think this is Pegasus. the unannounced vehicle that I think is the Galaxy. And we probably won't we hopefully we'll find out and it will become announced next Wednesday. Um when the next roadmap roundup is. So So on the fourteenth? It'll be yeah, it'll be good to get some confirmation though. Oh you mean uh, the seventh. Not today, the seventh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh but yeah. That is, is that all of them? Yeah, that's it. That's it. We got cool. through it. So that is all of the. Oh, gosh. This guy's whining in the comments of Paul's captain's table about the extra, extra small hanger on the, the galaxy. Which is it's still like, bigger than a Carrick. It's like, dude. You know, it, the whole point of it being modular is, is to, be, you know, it's like if it was if it was modular and had a extra small hanger, then it would be like nearly self sufficient. You mean a small whole, hanger? Yeah, uh, no, extra small. Extra small is what is on the, oh. the Odyssey. You know, because the, okay. the well now you can't bring your you can't bring your prospector with you. That's the point. It needs to have an Achilles heel. It needs to not be able to, you know, you can't have a ship that does everything, you know, just basically self-efficient. You can't say... And oh, we'll get I... there. Yeah. <laughs> there will eventually be a ship that is just bigger, you know, Polaris size with a hangar that can support a prospector. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the Odyssey 
It also has a mining thing, so you can bring some other vehicle in the hangar yeah. to do something else. Or that's what your liberator's for, you know, or you use a mole that has longer legs, you know, but the, like, that's the entire point of this game is so you can't have, you know, and even the Carrick is, has, it, the Carrick does a lot of things at a low level. The only thing the Carrick does at a, at a high level is, like, jump point scanning, you know, yeah. and, like, basically scanning in general. The more yeah. I use the Carrick Blizzard, the more I want just something else. It doesn't do anything anywhere next to good. Yep. Like the hangar's too small, the ship's Oops. too big. There's like, yeah, that's right. Half the ship is pointless. Like the, I think the most valuable thing in it is the size of the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Um, like there's a ton of ways of space. The entire armory, like the Fort Knox in the back, makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Like, could you, like, give, donate some of that armory to the hammerhead? Zero sense. Um, the cargo area is way too small to actually make any use of. Like, they could have made the cargo a bit bigger and less armory. Like, there's so many guns you can fit in this thing. Um, the mapping functionality is great, but I don't, it doesn't have enough computers. So you're going to have to be offloading that data if you're collecting it so frequently. Um, it is going to be really bad at a lot of things, but it will do a lot of things. And I would like many flavors of the Carrick skewed in one, each of those ways. So. Yep. Carrick kind of sucks. <laughs> so that is it for the biggest sit rep ever. Ever. Kraken mobile base. Kraken is mobile base. Yeah. Yeah, um, but that is the current status of every unreleased ship. And leading into our Spectrum Pulse for this evening, that was the part of the point of that sit rep, is to give you a frame of mind of, okay, here's all the unreleased ships, and what is the status of all of them? 